This guy is a wrecking machine, and he's hungry. All of you chumps are gonna bow. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Bye, bye, bye. Money. You are listening to The Real Estate Debate with Mr. Credit on AM760 KFMB. If you'd like to contact Mr. Credit, visit mrcredit.org. All right, welcome to The Real Estate Debate, a very special edition of The Real Estate Debate. It's that time of the month. It's time for the Redfin Roundtable. Of course, redfin.com, not only the premier website for searching uh, real estate online, but also a brokerage that has a location right here in San Diego. Co-hosting with me today, Danny Harani is here from the uh, Gaylord Hansen team with Caliber Home Loans. Danny, how are you doing, sir? Doing very well. Thanks for having me, Derek. Hey, it's great to have you. Uh, before we introduce our Redfin agents who are in studio with us today that are going to shed light on a number of different things, we're going to talk about the market. We're going to talk about tips for sellers because the spring selling season is here. Uh, we're also going to talk uh, about Redfin. What do you get for using Redfin? What can you use Redfin for and what it's like being a Redfin agent? So that's what you're looking forward to today on this edition of the Redfin Roundtable. Uh, but be- before we introduce our agents, Danny, uh, tell me what's going on in the mortgage market right now. I know there's like changes coming to documentation uh, soon. It seems like it's a very busy time. What's your perspective uh, in the mortgage market? Well, I think the most relevant thing for uh, people right now is that uh, interest rates have started to spike up a little bit. Have they? So in the last uh, approximately 10 days, we saw a run up of almost a half percent in interest rate. So usually when rates go up, they go up really quickly and then they kind of come down a little bit uh, slowly. And that has, um, I, I personally don't believe this is going to be a sustainable increase in, in rates. It's just kind of a, a vision of the future. But what it, it tells me is uh, the, the incredibly low interest rates that we have had in the past two and a half, three years, they might be on the way out. So if you've been thinking about buying or selling and then buying, now is probably a really good time to get in on that because home values, as we all know, are increasing. And if rates also increase in conjunction with that, your purchasing power can get really wiped out. To diminish so, fastly. Exactly. Yeah, especially so with these high a, dollar purchase amounts. You know, when you lose a quarter percent back home where I'm from in Missouri, it's not a big deal. It's seven dollars a month, you know, right. something like that. <laughs> hey, here it might be, you know, hundred and seventy dollars or something like that. So right. it really makes a big difference here. I was doing an analysis with a client um just a couple of uh, days ago and we were looking at we do this thing called a um cost of waiting analysis. And we looked at um, uh, home values increasing just 3% a year and interest rates just going up about 1%. And it took away $70,000 in their purchasing power. Wow. Just incredible. Wow. Huge. So rates still good. Take advantage while the iron's still hot. Exactly. Makes sense to me. All right, let's introduce our Redfin agents who are in the studio with us today. A, a regular on the show now. I'm going to have to get you one of these shirts. Uncle Jordan Clark is here. What's oh, up, buddy? I would like one. How you doing, man? Doing very well. Enjoying the rainy weather. Enjoying the rainy weather as an American citizen? As an American citizen. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Well, it's great to have you back, my friend. Uh, Looking forward to speaking with you today. Of course, Willie Wilson is here as well. Willie, you're going to need one of these shirts too, man. Absolutely. I love that color. Yeah. All right. Well, it's great to have you here. Now, last time I kind of put you on the spot with the whole Willie Stories uh, situation, so... I'll, I'll make sure I don't do that for you today. I'm letting you know right now, up front, I'm going to be looking for one of Willie's famous stories. I appreciate that, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great stuff. And a newcomer uh, from Redfin.com, Agent Charlie Baker is here. How are you doing, Charlie? Very good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great to have you. So this is your first time on the show. Is it your first time on the radio? First time. Wow. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, excited. All right, awesome. So you're kind of representing the sell side right now. Uh, Redfin agents all kind of do whatever is needed. It's a team atmosphere, but you have specialties so Jordan and Willie focus more on the buy side. You focus more on the sell side. Is that right? That's correct. I help sellers almost exclusively. Okay. And what area uh, do you cover primarily? With Redfin, I work in the inland area, which essentially covers everything from Mira Mesa going north to Escondido. So Rancho Bernardo, Scripps, Poway, everything in between. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of territory right there. A lot of hot territory too. This is true. Yeah. A lot of hot markets in there. Well, let's let's get to that because I think the market right now, you know, we've uh, every month we do the Redfin Roundtable to check in with our Redfin agents, see how things are going, check in with their cool statistics and all the new things for the website. Um, let's check in and do a little market update now and see are things progressing the way we expected them to. Uh, Jordan and Willie were both correct at the end of the year last year in saying that it was going to be a hot year. So far it has been. Jordan, is that continuing? Oh, yeah. Definitely continuing. <laughs> it's, um, the, if we look at the stats, it's already uh, already up uh, another half a percent month over month. So we're seeing that in half a percent month over month. It just... Uh, it compounds, and then you are really starting to feel it. And every month, every sale is higher than the last sale. That's so wild. I mean, because that can't last forever, can it? 
Well, no, you, you hit a peak eventually, but uh, there seems no, no slowing down right now. There's no slowing down the momentum at all? No. Willie, what are you seeing? Well, it's interesting what Danny was pointing out because, uh, you know, that's what I've been saying all along. It's these interest rates that are really driving this thing. Um, obviously, we know there's a shortage of inventory, so there's a lot more buyers out there uh, than there are properties for sale. But, you know, looking going back to the stats, you know, we're up 11.7 month over month on homes sold, uh, approximately 3,300 homes in San Diego County and up 1.7 year over year. Uh, so, again, everything is indicating that right now things are hot. It's it's time to buy and sell. Spring, summer's right around the corner. But, uh, yes, it uh, you know, it's, <laughs> can't, it, can't, it can't stay like this forever. So it will be interesting to, to see what happens as uh, rates change and, uh, you know, people's uh, uh, consumer confidence changes as well. Yeah, I wonder, you know, the rates is one of those things where we kind of say, well, they have to go up at some point, but we've been saying that for so many years, you know, and they just kind of don't. But then you get to a point eventually where the Federal Reserve is going to kind of have to, you know, do something, right? right? Because they've they've been saying, oh, the economy's good, it's good enough, but there's a problem over here, and so we have to keep rates low. Uh, well, it's it's good, things are improving over here, but we still need to keep rates low. And so once all of those things kind of flush out, then what do you do? So it'll be really interesting to see if rates do come in and, and go higher, and then come into the picture as far as affecting prices. Charlie, what do you see? Well, uh, last month new listings were up only 1.1%. Um, and they're up 1.5% year over year. So essentially, it's um, pretty much like the last month, so not a lot of new listings. Uh, however, the, new inv or the inventory is at 93.77, which is only up just slightly month over month, but it's down 9% year over year. Wow. So the number of homes available for sale is down almost 10%. That's huge. So we're still seeing a really strong demand from buyers with less options and less inventory. Hmm. So I what think Sorry to interrupt. Well, what does that translate to in months of inventory from for the absorption rate that we have right now? Is that like about two and a half, three months? About 2.7. Yeah. Yeah. And <clears throat> so for the viewers or the listeners, what that means is if all the, if there's no new listings on the market, how long would it take for the current uh, inventory to be completely depleted based upon how many s homes sold in the past month? So if no new listings came on the market, kept selling at the same pace that we did for the past month, no homes would be on the market in 2.7 months. And most economists say that a balanced market starts at three months. Okay, so we're a little bit below that, but I also feel like there's a lot of homes that are not really in the market, they're just on the market. So I think that actual number, if you took those homes out of the picture, the homes that are not gonna sell, uh, but they're on the market right now, which there seem to be a lot of, and that's kind of what's, um, that's the, the shadow aspect of the inventory, right? With shadow inventory, not what we were talking about four or five years ago, shadow inventory. <laughs> But the shadow inventories, inventories, you can actually see it, but it's not really for sale because the you sellers mean, just got it on the market. You mean the listing that's been on for two years? Yeah, that's still overpriced 100000 Are those the ones that <laughs> drop about $1,000 every 30 days? <laughs> Are those those listings? I, I only sent you a couple of those. <laughs> I get them every day. And if it's less than, if you're dropping the price for less than 5000 I mean, I, I really don't know what the point is other than to maybe get it into people's feeds again. But, I mean, you, you, the market's already told you something. All right, you're overpriced. Dropping at five grand, I just don't think is enough. What do you think about that, Charlie, as far as the price dropping strategy? I mean, it's obviously a difficult thing to kind of approach, but what we were talking about last month was how uh, a lot of sellers right now are like dropping their price by $1,000, you know, and I'm getting these notifications because I have a lot of favorites on redfin.com. And so I get the notifications and I'm like, $900, really? You're just, what, what do you feel about price dropping in a market like this? Well, I think first and foremost, it's important to price the home correctly right from the get-go. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, if you do miss the mark, and occasionally we're wrong, and sometimes the market is not where we think it is, I think if you have not received offers within three to four weeks, then you need to make a price adjustment that'll actually turn heads and make people notice. So these little incremental changes, they're not doing much for the actual listing. Right, so. that's what I feel as well. I mean, I, I can't believe anyone does it, but it's definitely happening. Um, and those are the kinds of properties that I feel like aren't really in the market, they're just on the market, you know, and the, the seller isn't really interested in selling or they're really not motivated to sell, but they would sell if someone would buy it for this much money. So, oh, anyway, so the market's still still good, still strong, numbers look good, inventory down quite a bit from last year where we were already complaining about inventory issues. Um, so that kind of gives you a, a good idea of where we are right now as we're kind of in the peak selling season. Speaking of, when we come back, we'll talk about what you should do if you're going to sell your home. We'll get tips from our in-studio experts from Redfin.com. When we come back, we'll make you smarter than everyone else. Stick around.
Welcome back to the Real Estate Debate with Mr. Credit on AM760 KFMB. All right. Welcome back. Thank you for hanging out with us on your Sunday afternoon. Mr. Credit here. You're listening to the Real Estate Debate. Today, it's Redfin Roundtable Day. My co-host, Danny Haranyi, is here with the Gaylord Hansen team from Caliber Home Loans. Danny, learn anything yet? Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. So this market has been sizzling for quite some time. A lot of people are saying, well, it's, this is the peak. Uh, what we're trying to figure out is how can we help people take advantage of whatever the circumstances are in this marketplace. And I'll tell you one thing, if you're a seller, you could really take advantage of a market like this. And we're going to ask our in-studio experts from Redfin.com, actual real estate agents, all from here in San Diego, working the market here in San Diego, um, what they would suggest for tips for sellers. So Jordan, let's start with you. Well, I'm just going to comment on what you said there about yeah. some people thinking that today's the peak of the market. And I want to go back to what my economist professor used to say back in university, which is economists are really, really good at giving all the different options that can happen with the market. And then afterwards, explaining why none of them happen. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> honestly, no idea what's going to happen. You know, no one can predict it. I know. And, and a lot of people think this. You're starting to see the, that in the news. And that's why I bring it up because I know people are seeing it. They're seeing stories that say, oh, this is, you know, this is the top of the real estate market. Bad time to buy. Like you see that if you just go online and start looking. Um, San Diego, very different from a lot of that national news, of course. And even uh, micro markets within San Diego are all different. So that's why you know, on this show, we try to help people understand what's happening, what's really happening locally in San Diego and then as, as micro as we can in the marketplaces that they live in. So um, I know you don't necessarily work with a lot of sellers because you're mostly on the buy side of things, but you have sold homes yes. uh, on the listing side and you know uh, this market well. So what would you give us as a tip for, for a seller in this spring season? Well, going on what Charlie said is um, the best thing to do is to price your house correctly because when you first come on the market, it's when the most eyes that are going to be on you. So, our research finds that you have about four times as many views the first week that you're on the market than the rest of the time that you'll be on the market. Oh, wow. So the first week, you have 100 views. Next week, you're going to have 25, and that's pretty much where you're going to stay at. If you do those price reductions, like that $1,000 price reduction you're talking about, yeah, you might get a little bit of a bump. You might go from 25 views to 30 or 35 views, but you're never going to recreate that first week you were on the market. So when everyone's looking at you, be prepared we, and make sure that you have all of the pictures on, um, when you first go on the market. Make sure that you're priced correctly so that they go and they don't take a look at the pictures, take a look at the property and go, oh, that's ridiculously priced. I'm not even going to go see that. And then go on to the next property. You want to them to say, oh my God, that's the perfect property. It was well priced. I need to go see it right, right now. Right. I hit the favorite button. Boom. Hit the heart. Yeah. That's what you want people to do. You want No, you want them to go on the redfin.com and press schedule home tour right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can do, yes. by the way. It's actually, it's a really interesting uh, process because if you do see a home that you like, you can push that button and you can get immediate service and get connected right away uh, with an agent and schedule a time to go see a property, which I highly recommend you do, especially if you're looking at one that says it's a hot home, which we'll talk about Surely. Willie, what do you think for, for sellers? Tip for sellers. You know, one of the neat things about Redfin that sets us apart from uh, traditional brokerages is we have analytics department. I mean, we have people that are constantly looking at statistics and data, and, and they're just providing this not only to our customers and our clients that are using Redfin.com, but also us agents. And I, I thought this was really an interesting one, but we have we have proven with numbers that Friday is the best day to list a home. So homes listed, I get a load of this, homes listed on a Friday sell faster for a price closer to their asking price, about 99.1% um, than homes listed on any other day of the week. So you take that wow. and you go, okay, let's let's see what that's really all about. So I was fortunate enough to have two listings in the same community. I, I, I get a lot of repeat clients in this particular community that I used to represent and sell. Uh, there was one set of clients that said, you know what, Willie, I've got to put this thing on Tuesday because it's just, I needed it sold yesterday because I've got another place that I've scoped out up in uh, Park City, Utah. I've got to move because I, I gave them that stat. I said, well, really the best time to, to list this thing's Friday. They're like, sorry, we're not going to wait till Friday. Just do it on Tuesday. So, okay, that's fine. 
you know, client, client, whatever you want. So we put it on Tuesday. Well, one of the neat things about Redfin.com, if you look at the listing details page of any listing that's on the MLS or on Redfin, is you can click one of our tabs that says activity, and you can see how many people have viewed that property on Redfin.com. You can see how many people have favored it. One of Derek's favorite features. They've, Love they've, it. yep, they want to focus and hone in on that property, or how, or how many people have X'd out. In other words, they're not interested at all. So I took a look at that listing, and we posted it on a Tuesday, and it, it got some, it got some good, good, good hits and obviously there's some people interested we ended up selling in three days anyways it was you know again this is the market um so but then i had another one where they they said no willie we will take your advice let's list on friday because i told them that's the best time to do it so i get all queued up thursday night we list on friday and it was actually pretty amazing it was twice as many hits because it was a Friday, that's where agents and, and, and clients start looking because they're gearing up for the weekend, right? Yeah. Most people work Monday to Friday, and they want to get going on the weekend. Charlie can attest to this. Right now, in some of these hot markets, the weekend's all you get. They, they might even throw an open house. They're going to throw it on the market on Friday. There might be an open house. And on Sunday, you better have an offer on the table because Monday, they're going to escrow. This is true. <laughs> that's just reality out there right now. Friday's the day. And that, those are pretty big numbers. Yeah. Uh, I mean that you that you guys have compiled there that that is clearly the best day to put your home on the market and it, it makes sense to me because it's fresh in people's minds if they're going to be looking at properties on the weekend then it's going to be fresher in your mind if you saw it on a Friday or if you're going to look Friday evening at homes that you might want to go tour on Sunday uh, when you get home from work on a Friday you know you're looking through oh hey here's the, here's all the stuff that's there this one just came on today so maybe this one isn't in escrow yet or doesn't have five offers that they're getting countered out right now. Um, whereas, you know, sometimes that can happen if it's been on the market for a week and it's a really good listing. You might be like, oh, it's only been on the market a week. And then you call and you're, they're like, yeah, they got five offers. So we need to come strong <laughs> and fast if you want to get in on this thing, you know. Um, Charlie, what do you think? Tips for sellers. Use a professional photographer. Make sure the home looks amazing. When you list with Redfin, you actually get a professional photographer. It's not just me coming out with my point-and-click camera um, or someone coming out with their camera phone or the homeowner supplying the photos. Uh, professional photography is really what will set the listing off when you go online. Yeah, yeah totally. I mean, it's the, the pictures. You can tell when someone's done a really good job with pictures uh, when you're looking on, uh, online. You can also tell when someone has not done a very good job with pictures. So I don't know if there's actually maybe even some opportunity in some of those crappy looking homes just because no one's looking at them. Like maybe that's, <laughs> there may, might actually be something to that <laughs> because they really do get skipped over so fast. Uh, if you have like six pictures, obviously take them with a cell phone. You know what I mean? Like some angle. We, yeah. <laughs> but you see that all the time. Isn't it amazing how people still do that? And <laughs> we have the technology now and the cameras. It's, you're really doing yourself a disservice. Well, you guys also have the uh, the 3D walkthrough technology too, right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's a big deal beyond just the professional photography. Yeah. The 3D Matterport is an awesome feature. So what we actually do, and this is included in our package when we come out and list your home, is after the photography, we have this high-tech camera that we set up in different areas of each room of the house. And it'll scan each room. And it puts together this really cool 3D walkthrough. So if you're looking online and you're a buyer, and these guys are working with buyers all the time, they can get a sneak peek of a home and actually walk through as if they're actually there. So it's an amazing feature that I don't think anyone else is offering out there. No, I haven't it's seen incredible. It. Have you have you seen this, Dan? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah, the, I love the Redfin website also. Um, my wife actually had to cut me off because I'm addicted to buying houses. It turns out, <laughs> so I, I would be on there all the time, being like, "Hey, babe, what about this one? What about this one?" She's like, "You're done. <laughs> We're not moving again." <laughs> I think there's a support group for that <laughs> for, for Redfin people that have been banned from the Redfin app yeah, or website yeah, by exactly. their significant others. We'll, we'll get you. We'll get you uh, dialed in with them, Danny. I appreciate <laughs> it. Redfin Anonymous. Yeah, for sure. I was well, going to say further to what Charlie was saying. Not only pictures of the place, but also having envious pictures inside the house. Actually, I find benefits the seller as well. Because buyers go in there, and if they have pictures from them traveling around the world, and they have a surfboard up in the garage, they have an envious life. And that if you have an envious life, other people are going to want that as well. And maybe if they buy this house, they'll have that as well. So I've actually totally seen people drawn towards a house more because of the lifestyle that it promotes. Interesting. So life, lifestyle matters that much when a, a buyer's walking through a house. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. Well, I mean, the, uh, the thing that... Uh, that draws me back to the Redfin website constantly is just uh, because of the fact that I, 
you know, talk about real estate for a living. And if you want to get a feel for what's going on in a given area or see where there's hot activity, um, you can do that on the Redfin website or the web Redfin app, which is all free to use. You know, you can sign in with Facebook, your Facebook login, so you don't need to create a new username and password or anything like that. All the tools on there are free, including the home valuation thing. Hell, everything's on there. It's free. So you can go in there, and what I did uh, recently was I went in and I said, okay, I'm just going to look for hot homes. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to scan through San Diego County, start up in Oceanside, and just scan down and just look for hot homes, zero to 600K. So I went through and I did that, and it's really interesting because you can see like certain pockets, there's no hot homes for sale. Okay, that tells you something. But when you go through a certain area where there's tons of hot homes, there's eight, seven, eight, ten hot homes in a, in a given area like there is in Oceanside right now in that price range um, and like there is in Carmel Valley right now. Um, that tells you something. So, I mean, I, I was able to find in five minutes, I was able to figure out that Oceanside, hot market, Carmel Valley, hot market. And you can tell that because it's listed right there. Uh, what Redfin does is it compile a, a ton of statistics about these homes and if, the, if it's getting a lot of views and a lot of favorites and a lot of activity, it becomes a hot home. Is that right, Jordan? Yeah. Well, there's something like 96 or 100 plus uh, criteria that our data scientists use to determine how quickly a property will sell. Did you know about that, Denny? Yeah, I've seen it on the listings, actually. They put in the, in the comment line, this is a hot home likely to sell in the next number of days. It's, yeah, it's an incredible uh, call to action. It's eerily accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you see one like that and you like it, you got to move on it. You got to move on it fast. And a lot of times what they are is they're just, they're the homes that are uh, well done. They have good pictures. They're priced right. And those are the homes that everyone's looking at and everyone's favoriting and they're getting tons of views. They're getting shared. They're getting emailed to a friend and all that stuff. All those things are happening a lot with those homes. And so the Redfin website tells you that right away. And, and I haven't seen any other website that even has anything remotely close to that. So what a huge clue in to where the uh, activity is going and why, especially if you're a home seller in today's market. You can find out all this stuff on redfin.com. Check out the blog there as well. Coming up, we're going to tell you a little bit more about redfin.com, not just the website, but the brokerage. Stick around. We'll make you smarter than everyone else. Welcome back to the real estate debate with Mr. Credit on AM 760 KFMB. All right. Welcome back. Thank you for hanging out with us on your Sunday afternoon. Mr. Credit here. You're listening to The Real Estate Debate. Very special edition. Once a month, we do this Redfin Roundtable Day. One of my favorite days, we bring the agents from Redfin.com into the studio so that we can ask them about the real estate market, find out some of the cool stats and new features that are happening at Redfin.com, which is changing all the time for the better. Just an awesome website. If you haven't looked at real estate on Redfin.com, you haven't looked at real estate the way that you could look at real estate for free. Uh, so simple and easy to do. Co-hosting with me today, Danny Haranyi is here with the Gaylord Hansen team at Caliber Home Loans. So, Danny, learn anything yet today? Uh, this is an incredible amount of information here, Derek. It's really fun. It is fun. And what's cool is that uh, everything about Redfin is out there. It's totally transparent. I mean, everything they're, you know, that they're doing, everything that they offer, you can find it on the website, um, including all of the, the reviews. Right, Jordan? All the reviews. Yeah. All the reviews you get are listed on there. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> and I remember when I was on your uh, debate show, I asked one of the other agents here if um, they show all of their reviews on their site. And they go, yeah, we show all of our reviews on our site. I'm like, do you have any bad ones on there? She goes, no. And I'm like, well, it kind of doesn't lead a lot of credence to the fact that you probably, what about that client really didn't like you? Did you really send them that uh, review? Well, at Redfin, we do. We send a review to everyone. And I even have a few bad ones on there. So you can be assured that we do show every last little survey. Not everyone uh, has fallen in love with me, unfortunately. How could that be? I don't, I don't know. understand. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't it get make, it. It makes no sense. Yeah, and literally nothing I could ever do to get rid of it. It's always going to be there until the end of eternity. Well, and that's part of what uh, that, what you guys do that's just a little bit different than the traditional real estate setup is that you know, you're know you compensated that way. In other words, you're trying to get the best review you can. Yeah. That's how you are incentivized. So All I care about. Yeah. Making them happy. Right. That's why I tell them, really? Anything, first thing I do when I meet them, I tell them, anything you need from me, I'm not commission-based. Whatever you need to be happy, just let me know. 
And that is my goal here. I don't care if you buy the first house or the 300th house that you see. I just want you to be happy. And uh, to that extent, also all the service providers that you use when you're with Redfin, they also get surveyed as well. So your lender, your inspector, everyone gets re reviewed as well. And then it's on our site on, under Open Book. And so you can go to Open Book, just type into Google Open Book Redfin, and you'll be able to go and you'll be able to see reviews for lenders, title agents, escrow agents. And so in unbiased, not like Yelp, we show every last little review for them as well, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So uh, it's a great way to research other real estate service providers. Don't get me started on Yelp, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> but let's do. Let's talk. Let's talk about Redfin uh, for, from the uh, technology standpoint, Jordan. Tell us about Redfin technology. We've been talking about some of it so far. Well, um, we like to start off by saying that we show every single listing that there is. So we show 20% more listings than um, any other website out there. So you don't need to be searching on our site and a bunch of other sites. You can just search on our site and you're going to get all the current listings and they're all going to be active. Uh, they're all going to be accurate. So we update our data every 15 minutes with a direct feed from hundreds of MLSs. We're not relying on any other special portals or uh, reciprocity agreements. It's directly from the MLS. And so you're getting really quick, accurate data. And that's there. because you're a brokerage. Because we're a brokerage. And not a, a, a reseller of information or anything like that with like the Zillows and whatnot. They're not a brokerage, so they don't have direct feeds, and that's why their information is so inaccurate. Exactly. And so, also, if you want to look back, like you do, to look at what's sold recently. Yeah, oh yeah. On Redfin, we show all the pictures there, too. You can pull comps. It's Actually, it's really, really helpful. If you, are, you can literally pull comps on Redfin. So if you're looking in an area, you can pull up solds, add that to your filter, look in that area, and you can pull up the solds, and you can literally comp out your house. And if you're wondering, did that house have road noise? Or did that backyard have a lot of light or anything else? Well, if a Redfin agent has uh, toured that property, which we've toured pretty much every single property in the San Diego County that's been on the market um, recently, and we write an agent insight. So we'll say what our opinion was, and something that um, you couldn't notice just by looking at the pictures or the listing detail page of the property. So if, you, if there was noise, if the backyard was, uh, you know, didn't have much natural light, we're gonna note that in our agent insights. So even when you're doing comparable sales and you're looking at them, you get a little bit more insight on Redfin about those properties as well. Super cool stuff. Uh, and that, and those, those remarks are worth reading. So it's not something that's just ripped out really quick and, you know, it's just a blah, blah, blah situation. You're actually going to get some really good information in those remarks. I can tell you guys take your time to write those. Uh, Willie, I feel like it's story time. Is it story time yet? Story time? Maybe next segment. <laughs> I, I, I want to touch on something a little bit because if you, you know, if you look at, for the listeners out there, if you look at the evolution of Redfin, we did start as a software company. So when a lot of people say, oh, wow, Redfin, you guys are a full service brokerage. I didn't know that. I thought you were just a website or I thought you were a software company. Well, partly that's true. That's, that's, that's the conception of us, but we did evolve into a full service brokerage. And what's really neat, my favorite part about our whole business model is it's the advocacy that not only is, not only are we encouraged to be our client's advocate, but we're actually paid, we're incentivized. So we are paid on a base salary and we're paid on a transactional bonus after the transaction closes escrow. So Danny, if you're my client and you close escrow five days after you close escrow, you'll get a one question survey that says, would you recommend Willie Wilson to friend, family, friends, or acquaintances one to 10? If I did my job and if I provided exceptional customer service, then you're going to give me a 10. And then you have the opportunity to leave some feedback and some notes about the experience. And those go back to those reviews that we talk about that immediately get posted onto our profile pages. So our clients, the, the decisions, we just give all of the, the, the tools and resources to them. So that when they go on redfin.com and they identify a property they want to see, they can now scroll through the, 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 the potential agents that are there representing those areas and they can pick an agent based off of the review. So you can see every single one of my reviews. I'm now uh, coming up on, I think, almost my 100th review now that I've been with Redfin a little over two years. So, I mean, what kind of value and power is that for, for a consumer to say, hey, you know what? I want to look at Will what Willie's done in the last two years and I've got 100 reviews to read. And again, there's no filter there. So there's no other industry that even offers this, you, you know, I mean, it doesn't even exist. 
And I can tell you, people do read those reviews and they're making decisions based on them too. And it's incredible to have that information at your fingertips before you're even getting the call. They're almost pre-sold on the idea of you being a professional. That's incredible. It is. It is. And it's funny you say that, Danny, because I mean, it's, I know it's happened to all of us. You meet these clients for the first time and they kind of have this little like smirk on their face and it's like, what's up? And they're like... I read a lot of your reviews and I really <laughs> liked the one back in September of 2013 when you helped this client and you're like, wow, you really like you went that deep into the archives and written there. They're like, oh yeah, I read every single one. So yeah, you're absolutely right, Danny. People, you know, if you're anything like me, I don't, I don't spend ten dollars on Amazon and without reading twenty reviews of the product, and I, I have to know. I want to be educated. Well, what's funny is people are starting to grandstand a little bit with these reviews. Have you noticed all the comedians out there on Amazon with their reviews? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can actually read reviews on products, and it's pretty comical these days. Um, but there's not as much on Reddit. Yeah, hopefully we don't get those. But, uh, no, there's no, some really gets love letters. He gets love letters. <laughs> uh, can you imagine though, if if think about if the place where you take your car to get fixed offered that service and said, here's, a list, here's our mechanics, and here's the review on every single one of them. Or if uh, the place where you go buy your clothes did the same thing. Here's our sales associates. Here's the reviews. Every transaction they've done, we send a review to someone. Here's the ones that people send in to us. It, just, it doesn't exist out there in anything else. I mean, it definitely doesn't um, that I'm aware of in the real estate industry, but it's something that could, could change everything if this were adopted by, by other organizations. Um, Charlie, about Redfin. Um, value. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So, when, and I'm going to reference this to the sellers that I help okay. and how we add value there. Yeah. So we talked about the professional photography. That's an absolute must. We talked about the 3D scan in the last segment, and that's essentially like a Google Street view of the house, right. which we offer in our package. But what we didn't talk about was my ability to walk into a house and help you stage it. So the idea mm -hmm. is what get are those photographs in that 3D scan if the house doesn't look good. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to help you declutter, I'm going to give you tips for getting the house ready for sale, whether it's paint or new carpet or whatever it is, and that staging help will really help the home you know, look its best. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing too that you, um, that's, that's really neat, people should know and understand about um, using Redfin is the, the back-end dashboard. Uh, I call it the analytics uh, dashboard, which I've only seen it, haven't actually used it because I haven't bought or sold a home through Redfin yet. But uh, I've I've heard about it and I've seen the screenshots. You actually can you know get this entire back end dashboard that tells you the analytics of everything that's going on with your property. Um, you, know, you can see how many people are looking at it, how many people are saying no thanks, hitting the X, favoriting it, viewing it. Um, you get to see all that stuff. So I mean, as a, as a seller, that's pretty powerful. I imagine it's a really cool tool. And it helps our sellers stay up to date on what we're doing. And it shows them that we followed up and we actually are doing what we said we're going to do. So they get to follow along online with their dashboard. So they can see actually what's happening. Who's looking at it? How many people are viewing it? Isn't that amazing? I mean... The thing I like about this, uh, just learning about it now, is that it involves the seller and the buyer in this major financial um, event in their lives. Instead of just putting it off to their agent, they're actually being drawn into the process and being able to become part of it in a real substantive way. So it's, it's awesome. Great stuff. All right. Coming up more from our agents from redfin.com. When we come back on the real estate debate, it's the Redfin Roundtable. We'll make you smarter than everyone else. Stick around. Welcome back to the real estate debate with Mr. Credit on AM 760 KFMB. All right, man, the time is flying today. Thank you for hanging out with us on your Sunday afternoon. Mr. Credit here, guaranteeing to make you smarter than everyone else. No real estate debate today. It's Redfin Roundtable Day. We do this once a month. We're bringing the real estate agents from redfin.com who are here in San Diego to talk about the different tools and different aspects of Redfin, not just the website, but the brokerage as well. Co-hosting with me today, Danny Harani is here with the Gaylord Hansen team at Caliber Home Loans. A um, lot of stuff going on, Danny, uh, in the marketplace and uh, a lot to be learned uh, from these Redfin Roundtables. Yeah, ab absolutely. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to Uncle Jordan. Jordan? Yes, sir. Tell me what it's like to be an agent with Redfin. Have, first of all, have you been an agent uh, in a traditional setup before? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was um, a broker and owner of a brokerage for about seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Okay. So you work as a Redfin agent now. 
Yes. So you have a, an understanding of kind of both worlds. What What is it like as a Redfin agent? You don't necessarily need to compare, but what is it like as a Redfin agent that you've noticed that sticks out to you? What sticks out to me is just I get to take care of my clients. I have no other care in the world when I wake up except for making sure my clients are happy. I don't have to worry like I used to about making sure all my other agents were um, doing what they were supposed to or that I was getting enough business to them or uh, paying the bills or anything else. I just have to worry about making my clients happy. That's what I wake up thinking about. Like this morning when I woke up, so, uh, first thing to do, look at the properties that came on the market already in the day, actually. And one of them was a hot home, and so I, they couldn't come out and they couldn't see it right away. So I ran over there and I videoed it to them right away. Uh, but I have benefits that take care of me. I have great health care coverage. A everything is just taken care of, and I have no worries in the world except for just making my clients happy. And honestly, it just makes my life a lot more uh, stress-free than it used to and it just makes me a happier person and I think it makes my clients happier. Do you like working with buyers and not exclusively but as a majority of what you do is that yes um, and actually you know what that is something that I implemented at my previous brokerage uh, and so I was very happy when I came over to Redfin and pretty much everywhere else I, I had looked they didn't do that and it was like yeah do whatever just take everything and they didn't really work as a team like they call themselves teams but they didn't really work as a team it's just like yeah these are your clients you got to go get your clients and everything else at redfin it was no you just work in this specific area with just buyers and so you offer them a really great job a uh, great service because if you are doing listings as well or if you're doing listings and buy sides all over the all over the county you're not going to offer as good of a service than if you're really localized and working just with buyers because buyers and sellers uh, are different games yep and they require different focuses and so I, i'm working on the same thing for different clients in the same neighborhood and i know that off the back of my hand yeah i can tell you when i walk into a property i know the comparable sales <laughs> I know where the park is. I know where the school is. I know it. And I just love that I get a focus on it. And I don't have to, like a client doesn't call me up and say, say that they want to work in La Mesa. I, I don't have to. I, I have someone else in La Mesa that can work with them and give them great service. And I'm not going from Encinitas to La Mesa and giving them half a good job. Yeah, no, that's great. And you, you make a good point. So you're on, you know, you're on the buy side. Let's talk to Charlie, who's on the sell side. Charlie, have you been an agent with the, in the traditional setup before? I have. I've been licensed for over 12 years now. So and up until about a year ago is when I joined Redfin, I was in the traditional brokerage setup. Uh, I love Redfin. Uh, Redfin is perfect for me and my business. And one of the things I like most about it is the team environment. Uh, and Jordan and Willie will attest to this. We truly are a team. I mean, we we help each other. We share stories. We give each other tips. I mean, there's that camaraderie between agents, which is so rare. You know, the typical real estate office you walk into, and everyone's kind of out for themselves. You know, it's you know you, you've got the bullpen, you've got the top producers, and everyone's just out there to to get business. Mm -hmm. With Redfin, we're there for the right reasons. They're hiring good people and good agents. And the team is just amazing. Yeah, I've, I've experienced uh, some of that myself. Well, this and is what we've all been waiting for. It's uh, Willie's, one of Willie's famous stories, Willie Wilson. Um, you got a story for us. You know, I felt so bad last time I was on the show. I, I was put on the spot to tell a story, and I, I came up short, big time short. <laughs> I, I didn't come up with anything, actually. What am I talking about? <laughs> Uh, but you know what? I'm, I'm fortunate enough today to have a really good story that, that just occurred actually about an hour before I showed up. So I um, had a closing and uh, was getting ready to give these keys to my clients. And they said, well, let, let me back up for a second. Let me, let me rewind the clock two years. I am selling uh, my former employer, who happened to be a broker, I'm selling his home in Carlsbad. And because he is a real estate broker, but you know how these things can be, it's his own home and he didn't want to be emotional about it. So he said, you know what, Willie, I know you're transitioning, you're going to go do something else and go somewhere else, but why don't you just sell sell my home one last hurrah together? Because we'd worked together for about 10 years. He was a builder here in town. So I listed his home in Carlsbad, a little over a million dollars over there next to the coast, and Redfin brings me a buyer. And so uh, Stephanie Walker at the time was the buyer's agent. Now she's in a management role with us. Well, 
I did not know that Redfin was a brokerage. I knew, like a lot of people, I just knew it was a really incredible website, but she physically brought me a very qualified buyer. We closed the transaction. I was so impressed with Redfin's business model and just the way the entire thing went down that I started doing my research. And uh, so I went on to Glassdoor.com and I read, at the time, there was about 22 reviews of people that had worked for Redfin and shared their stories. And they were all pretty positive, which was, which was you know, said a lot in itself. So once I, I really did my research and, and found out about these core values of the company, that's what really hit home for me because they, they perfectly matched up with my own personal core values. So that's how I end up over here at Redfin. So now we'll, we'll fast forward back to this closing that I was talking about. So it, it's um, back up maybe a couple weeks ago, we're at the home inspection and the listing agent's there and we're all waiting for the inspector to do a summary. And She's kind of looking at me, and she's a very successful agent in her area, um, well-known. And she said, Willie, I got to know. Just tell me a little bit about this Redfin thing because I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. You know, I said, oh, Anna, <laughs> I'm so glad you asked me this. I'd love to tell you about Redfin. So I'm telling her about it, and she's, you know, a little bit of the deer in the headlights, but she got it. And she said, you know, Willie, I, I, I get it, and that's really cool. She goes, but you know what? I'm I'm too old now. I'm on, you know, I'm I'm on my way out. I don't want to learn new technology. I don't want to learn, you know, I don't want to learn new tricks, but but for boy, I mean that's that's really neat. That's really cool. I said, "Oh, that's great. I'm, you know, I'm glad we had this discussion." So, now we're going down to the uh the the key exchange or the walkthrough and we're there the other night and uh the whole the whole everybody's there. It was one of those really cool circumstances where the buyers, sellers, all the agents, her whole team was there. In fact, it was a former pod race, so that was part of the the hoopla, ah. but it was it was a really neat transaction. So, anyways, you know, there was hugs and there was Willie. I'm, you know, from a, even though I'm a traditional broker, I got to say it was just what a smooth transaction. I'm so impressed with your company's professionalism and the way you guys operate. So I thought that was a huge compliment paid to us because, you know, let's face it, we still are a, a, a new kid on the block, right? I mean, real estate's been done one way forever and here we are and we're, you know, call us about 10 years old in this business. We're still toddlers, right? But we're, uh, we're making our name. So anyways, my client says, Willie, I have the key. I said, what do you want me to do? You want to meet at the house and we'll, we'll get this key to you and, and you're going to move in this weekend. Everything's going to be great. No, would you drop it off at my office, please? Sure. Absolutely. Whatever you want. So I go get the key. I take it over to her office blind. I, I had no idea what the setup was, but I came in and she said, Willie, she's an orthodontist uh, in the area. And she said, Willie, the reason I had you come to my office is I want to personally introduce you to every single one of my employees and all of my staff, because I think everybody needs to know about Redfin. Everybody should be using you and Redfin. So she literally took me to each, you know, cubicle and each room and I'm, I'm meeting her whole staff. And that's, I mean, that's how much of a fan she was of just Redfin. And I really had no idea. I mean, I, you know, I, I felt like I, you know, provided good service and she liked Redfin's business model, but I didn't know that it was going to be, you know, that big of a shout out. So just incredible, but wow. that's, that's not a testament to, to my, you know, my performance. That's what Redfin uh, provides. For, for clients out there when, when they're trying to achieve certain real estate goals. I mean, that's what we, that's what we offer. Experience. Wow. An experience. All that's a, well, uh, Charlie, you want to follow up that? Would you have a story? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I can top that one. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, yeah, I mean, this is really, it resonates a lot with, with me because my uh, team and I have been talking about this for years and years and, and really have bucked the trend in lending. And Derek knows this. We Absolutely. we're one of the only, places in town that really specialize and it totally transforms the customer experience because you guys know it's a it's a major event to sell a house or to, to buy a house and there's so many things to know you have to know you have to basically be a contract attorney and a you know a, a marriage counselor you know all of this all together and it's hard to, to specialize in everything so the fact that the a whole entire company has identified that model and adopted it across the board is just incredible yeah and uh, expanding rapidly this year um, I'm getting the emails, you know, like open a new market, new market, new market, new market. It's like every day or every other day, probably. You know. And we're growing here within San Diego too. We just got a brand new office, and it's nice and large, and we got we got room for everyone now, and room to grow a little bit more. And is, is is it operational? Is the new it's office? Operational. It's we operational. Got, we have a ping pong table, so I mean, we're, we're we're legit now. <laughs> who 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 wants some action on the ping pong table? Okay, because it's been a while for me, but uh, I'm gonna have to come check out the new office because uh, I I think you guys you needed a new office. You needed to be kind of out there a little bit more, uh, but you guys have had such uh, organic growth, you know, here over the last several years. Um, and that obviously is continuing to happen, but you, you, it's interesting you said that, Danny, because I never thought about it that way, but you're right. You guys, your team at Gaylord Hanson, you guys are set up the exact same way Redfin. Exact same way. You have specialists in every single aspect of the process and, um, from A to Z. Right. 
And so when someone is at a certain point in the process, they're working with someone who specializes in that part of the process. Right. Because we want to make sure that the person who's handling it knows all the, the ins and outs of that, basically all the pitfalls. And they've made all the mistakes so that that client doesn't have to be a guinea pig for that particular person. And it's a, it's a huge transformative way of thinking. And it produces a lot of, you know, a, uh, evangelists. That's what you have now with that person. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they feel a moral imperative to go out and share their, their story. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, there's one thing that really stuck out too. She said, you know, Willie, she was introducing me to one of her staff and she said, it, it, you know, people, I have a lot of people that are trying to suit us because my husband and I buy a lot of properties. And basically she was like, they're, they, they always, they're kissing our butts, you know, because they know that we're buying and selling almost every two years. She said, but one of the things that we really love about Redfin is there's never any pressure from you guys, any of you. There's never pressure. We never feel like we're under the gun to make a decision or that you you don't have our best interests in mind. And I can tell you right now, that's why the three of us here are with this company for that yeah. reason. Fantastic stuff from a Redfin Roundtable. Big thank you to our co-host today, Danny Haranyi, with the Gaylord Hansen team and Caliber Home Loans and our Redfin agents, Jordan Clark, Willie Wilson, and Charlie Baker. Thank you all for being here. Really appreciate your time. Stick around for Talking Money with Mr. C right here on AM760 KFMB.